George II, the last British king born in Germany. George was born on the 30th of October, 1683, in Hanover. He had one sister, Sophia Dorothea. His parents were George I of Great Britain and Sophia Dorothea of Sel. In 1694, his parents divorced, and from then on, George and his sister never saw their mother again. Until the age of four, George was only able to speak French, the language of court at the time, and was taught German, English and Italian as he got older. In 1705, as it became clear that Queen Anne of Great Britain and Ireland would not be able to have any more children, George's grandmother, Sophia of Palatinate, was chosen as the Queen's heir. Sophia and her descendants were naturalised as English subjects. George's father hoped that his son would have a love marriage rather than an arranged loveless marriage as he had. In June 1705, George met Caroline of Ansbach and they fell in love with each other, marrying on the 22nd of August 1705. 1707, their first child, Frederick, was born. Later that year, Caroline fell ill with smallpox and George contracted the illness as well from her, after staying by her side to care for her. They both recovered, though. Between 1709 and 1725, Caroline became pregnant ten more times, giving birth to seven live children, of which six survived to adulthood. Anne, born 1709, Amelia, born 1711, Caroline, born 1713, George, born 1717, and died 1718, William, born 1721, Mary, born 1723, and Louisa, born 1724. In 1714, Queen Anne died, with Sophia having died two months before the Queen. George's father succeeded Anne as George I, and George was declared the Prince of Wales. George was popular with the people, something his father was jealous of, which contributed to a poor relationship between the father and son. The birth of George caused the beginning of the end for the relationship between the father and son. At the baptism of George, the Lord Chamberlain, one of George's sponsors, was verbally insulted by the Prince of Wales. The King banished George and Caroline from St. James's Palace, with their children being left in the care of the King. The couple were desperate to see their children and snuck into the palace to visit them. Eventually, the King allowed the couple to see their children. The Prime Minister encouraged the King to reconcile with his son, and while they did, they were never on friendly terms again. George and Caroline lived peacefully, away from political drama until George I died on the 11th of June, 1727. George succeeded his father as George II. George did not attend his father's funeral in Hanover, something that was praised by the English as proof of his fondness for England. George I had written a will that was considered unlawful by both the British and Hanoverian ministers. In the will, George attempted to split Hanover and Britain. This did not come to pass though. George II was crowned on the 11th of October 1727. As was common amongst British monarchs, George did not have a good relationship with his heir, Frederick. Frederick had been left in Germany while his parents lived in England and they had not met in 14 years. In 1728, Frederick came to England and was politically opposite his father. Tensions between Hanover and Prussia grew and a marriage negotiation between the Prince of Wales and the Prussian King's daughter Wilhelmine went nowhere. Eventually, the prince married Princess Augusta of Saxe Gotha in 1736. In May 1736, George went to Hanover, which caused his popularity to decrease. He returned in January 1737, but was ill with a fever. Rumours that he was dying soon sprouted up, with his son spurring them on. 
To stop the rumours, George insisted on getting up and attending a social event. On the 20th of November 1737, Queen Caroline died, which greatly affected the king. Though George had mistresses, he was devoted to his wife and loved her dearly. He never remarried. During George II's reign, issues with the Jacobites reared their head. Bonnie Prince Charlie, the son of James Stuart, the half-brother of Queen Anne, led Scottish forces against the English forces. It all came to a head at the Battle of Culloden in April 1746, which resulted in the Scottish forces being decimated and the culture of Scotland being suppressed. Bonnie Prince Charlie retreated to France, but there was no further serious attempt at restoring the House of Stuart to the throne. Unexpectedly, the Prince of Wales died in 1751. His eldest son, Prince George, became heir apparent of his grandfather. The king commiserated with the Dowager Princess of Wales and wept for his son. Should George II have died before the Prince George came of age, it was decided that the Dowager Princess of Wales would act as regent for her son. As hostilities grew between France and Britain over the colonisation of North America, with fear of a French invasion of Hanover, George II aligned himself with Prussia. Russia and France allied themselves with Austria and the French invaded Menorca, a British-held territory. This caused the outbreak of the Seven Years' War in 1756. Other European powers got involved, including Sweden, Hesse Castle and Saxony. On the 25th of October 1760, George II died at the age of 77, longer than any of his English or British predecessors. His official cause of death was thoracic aortic dissection.